Day 16, Radville BMX, 30 day, 30 bike, old school BMX challenge. Today, Sweet 16, we get to show little eye candy from 1986. This is the GT Pro Performer, powdered finish in day glow pink. Let's get into it. So lots of things going on here with this bike. Some right, some wrong, some could be better, and some we'll just uh, have to uh, accept for the moment. But, uh, but a great bike, powder job on this is just absolutely fantastic. If it was a nice sunny day out, we'd be showing this outside and, and letting it pop. It's uh, just really reflective and love the neon for the 80s here on today's uh, post. So let's go through it. From the ground up. We have GT tires, old set from, not sure if uh, late 80s, uh, probably with that tread pattern. Um, could be could be 90s, not too sure, but um, not repop either. So these are these are nice. Got the tan gum walls on them in good shape. Inside we have six star OGK mags, made for GT. So. This year in 86, they started moving away from the Skyway over to the OGK mags, and these look great on the 86. Coming up to the midsection, so here's probably our first uh, ding on it, but um, we're gonna give it a pass just because these cranks are so nice, great to pedal. But these are repop, and these cranks really weren't out until 87, um, fully more introduced 88, but, um, but this bike was really a blur between 86 and 87, so nice set of cranks here. It's got a GT chain ring with the power disc or uh, disc in the middle in white. And the pedals are actually Graphite XX, so Repop MKS pedals, but uh, in white, working for the bike. A lot better than the uh, cruiser pedals that were on there before that were white, so I had to change those out, but uh, went with the MKS. Um, Keep an eye out for a set of 916s in white. Moving up through the midsection, right? Got the GT seat clamp, 85, 86 clamp. Real happy to uh, to see that on there. Uh, before it had a 87, 88 clamp that uh, was just super white powdered, but just not um, right for this year. And the laid back seat post with the 85 uh, coin decal is actually more catalog correct so um, to change the day glow pink post on here just to mix it up with some of the white components and think it does a little bit better debatable but wanted to get this a little bit more correct to 86 and uh, in 86 everything wasn't just the same color that became more of a thing for 87 um, not to get too technical but just trying to keep it towards the 85, 86 uh, componentry wherever possible. Again, aside from the cranks, which I would look at as just something someone could, could have upgraded the, the following year. So not terrible, but you really want to see someone change out their seat clamp or, or seat, for example, right? So the GT wing logo would be more of an 87. So we changed the seat out as well and went to the 85, 86 GT BMX stamped logo in white and uh, looks good right so it's it was originally tough to match everything with this powdered finish because everything in on the frame and fork is just pristine and a lot of the accessories are a little bit more worn and, and weathered but um, overall just trying to keep it correct to the 86 era and uh, think it, think it works out pretty good we'll, we'll see how you if you agree or not in the comments but uh, moving up front Again, got the uh, GT tread, so here you're getting a look at the tread with the OGK in the middle. And uh, both front and rear got the die comp, and these are probably more of an 87 uh, brake as well in the uh, Nippon, but definitely great stopping power, great condition, and a nice upgrade for this bike. Moving up through the headset, got uh, GT FSA uh, headset here. Uh, nice, not um, epic, but 
a very nice headset stamp GT. I'm, I'm guessing that's probably more of a racing headset, but uh, but nice, right? In the chrome finish, works well, keeps that headset nice and tight. Inside of that with the GT mallet stem, can't go wrong with that. In white, silver coin in the middle, GT stamped with white bars, Pro Performer decal, and actually coin decal on the bars as well, even though I believe that's uh, on the wrong side, should be on the other side. And levers are 128s, die comp locking with AME grips, repop, real nice, just took those out of the bag earlier today and put those on, so a fresh set of grips there. And all in all, this bike is in super great shape. Um, definitely uh, carpet queen, eye candy, beauty. But it's fun to take outside, right? Especially on a nice sunny day. It's going to get some good looks. It's going to reflect that sun more than you can see popping here today. That's a little bit more of a bubblegum backdrop behind it uh, with hot pink on the uh, table. So you can see it kind of bouncing off of there. We'll get some close-ups here in the quick edit uh, follow on video so you can see some of the uh, highlights of it. It's stamped 4130. Like I said, it's uh, Japan made 1986, so it's got a G6 uh, serial number on it. All in all, super pleased with this bike. And I think with these updates to the accessories and toning it down a little bit off the uh, day glow, uh, makes it just a little bit more rideable. And this is going to be fun to cruise around on. This is definitely going to get some looks. So hope you've enjoyed it here today. The Sweet 16, 86, GT Pro Performer. On day 16, Radville BMX, 30-day, 30 30-bike, 30 old-school BMX challenge. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you've uh, become a subscriber. And we appreciate you taking a tour with us today.